Global Response Team. Says me. Roxana, <gasps> Isabel. Oh no, Dad. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. My seashells. We'll get them later. It's Roxy and Izzy, the dynamic duo. <laughs> here comes Izzy, the human helicopter. Where were you guys? You weren't playing in that cave again. No, we were just hanging out. Really? Then why can't you look at me? Because the glare of your white legs might blind me. Hardy har har. You know the tide comes in after three o'clock and fills the cave up. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want you in there. Apparently about a million. That's enough, Miss Sassy Boots. Dad and I have to go to town for a few hours. That means you get to babysit Isabel. Hooray! Get to or have to? I would hope want to. It's called responsibility. It means we trust you. Yippee. It's duo. This doesn't look good. What's up? This weather pattern. Looks like there's a twister hidden inside. She's moving fast. I doubt the locals even know about it. They soon will. Rescue personnel, meet at the bridge. We have an event code ITA. Incoming twister alert. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Wow, that's great, Izzy. I want to play helicopters. Well, I don't. But I do know a game we can play. Hey. It's called Roxy and Izzy Go to the Beach. Angus, stop it. I'm put on your life vest. I would, Natalie, but then I couldn't do this. Izzy, why don't we collect them for Mommy? I had shells, but I lost at them. Hey, you! Wanna play? <gasps> sure! I'll just play for a little bit. You wait here and play with Moo Cow, okay? No! I want you to play with me! If you let me play volleyball, I promise I'll play with you later. Pinky promise? Pinky promise. Do you think we asked too much of Roxy? She's only 14. And when I was her age, I was babysitting a sister and a brother. Plus, I had a job. Uh, it was a paper route, and your mom drove you. We interrupt this program to issue a tornado warning for the Eagle Cove area. We advise <gasps> that everyone in the vicinity seek shelter <gasps> until further notice. The girls! Control the waters. Wendy, check the campground and get everyone to the nature house. It's the only building nearby with a basement. Jake, you and I'll patrol the area in the jet. Copy that. Roger. Okay. Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake. You see? 
see anything? A whole lot of trouble. This one's yours. I've located a trailer in the water with a civilian trapped inside. Go get him then! You need to get to the nature house until this is over. I can't! My sister Isabel! I can't find her! You have to help me! I'll find her. I have to come with you. Isabel's really shy of strangers. All right, let's go. Help! We're down here! <laughs> to hear a thanks. I'm sorry, this is all because of me. Well, not the twister part, but I'm the reason Isabel went into the cave in the first place. We're just happy we're all safe. If you're caught in a tornado, go to the lowest level of your home. Choose a small, windowless room that is in the middle of your house. That way, you'll put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Always abandon a car or mobile home for the safety of a well-built structure. And take time with your family to make a plan in case a tornado does hit. Think like a rescue hero. Think safe. 